Hey, how's it going guys? Today I wanna to show you a cool free drum sampler. So this is Citala from Decomposer. It's currently in beta, but you can get it for free. It looks like it's inspired by the Ableton Live built-in sampler. And that's a really good thing because that's a great sampler. A lot of the essential controls right there really easy to use. And this is a great addition to Reaper because uh, the Resample-Matic plugin is not really designed for uh, drums with multi-channel outputs, um, really quick controls for manipulating it, all that kind of stuff. But this is, and I really like it. So let's dive in and look at some of the controls. So this plugin comes with two built-in kits. We've got a Classic 08 and a Classic 09. So the 08 is the 808 kit. And there's that awesome kick drum. And as you click each pad, you see the waveform change, and then there's a bunch of controls. Okay, so let's go over to the snare sound, and let's adjust the shape control. So as we pull it down, it starts to fade out to about uh, 40%, maybe 50% on the style, and then it starts getting shorter. And then the other way starts to fade it out, taking off a little bit of the transient. Until at 100%, it's a full linear fade from start to end. And so that's going to sound different on each type of sound. So I don't think I have anything here that's more sustained. But anyway, that's the shape control. Then there's tuning. And this shows us kind of the fundamental frequency of the sample. So instead of just thinking about it in terms of pitch, we can see it in the frequency range where that sample is centered. And so instead of being at like 180 hertz, we can bring this down to an even 100. Um, and that's an interesting way of um, doing tuning I've never seen before. Let's go over to the compression. Uh, again, there's a graphic to show what's happening here. Um, and this is kind of an interesting sounding compressor. I don't love the way it sounds, but it's very quick to use. And if you want like that really snappy transient, it's very easy to get that. Then we get to tone. This is a single control EQ that does actually a lot. So with it at zero, it's flat. And then we bring it up. It uh, goes from um, giving us a bit of a low cut, uh, a boost around, uh, what is that, three, 400. As we bring it up further at like 40%, it's a big boost at 1.5K. Steeper roll off of the lows. As we bring it up even further at 50%, that high boost is more like a shelf now. And the low cut is now centered at like 80 hertz. And then bringing it up further, 70% makes it just a high pass. And um, we're now at almost 500 hertz. And all the way up, it's high passing at uh, 10K. And then the other way, it does some interesting things as well. So it starts to dip down really steeply at 500 hertz, 400 hertz. And then it flattens out again before bringing in a high cut or uh, a low pass filter. And down at minus 100, we're looking at uh, about uh, 150 hertz for the cutoff frequency there. Um, I should also point out that with any of these controls, we can double click to reset, and we can right click to enter in a value directly. Then we have volume and pan for each one. So of course you can load in your own samples as well. That's as simple as right clicking and load sample. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later, but uh, we also have other th controls here like clear, rename, so we can rename the sample pad. And then we have trigger, which will actually 
link multiple um, pads together or MIDI notes together so that when we hit the kick drum, it's also triggering, for example, the closed hi-hat. And that could save you some time or save you some effort when you're programming or performing it, um, just having it linked right there in the sampler. Pretty cool. But then we also have the kill option, which is kind of the reverse of that. So if a pad is playing and you hit this other pad that's linked to, uh, it will mute the first one. We're going to set this up with a long kick drum. That's this one. So when that one's going, we want it to mute if, let's say, the, the first bass drum gets hit. This one, bass drum two. So instead of sustaining out, it gets cut off. And let me mute that hi-hat and turn off that so that we can hear the before and after. And put it on. And it's already set up by default with the open and closed hi-hats. So that's the 08 kit. There's also the 09 kit. Um, but of course, you can change everything and make your own. I went to clear and that reset everything. And go to load sample. I guess the first one will be a, a kick. So if I don't like that one, um, if there's more in the folder, you can just click this left and right button. Sure, let's do that one and quickly move on to the next one. So once we go to the second sample, we do need to right click in here and then click on load sample. And then in here, we can go to the next one. And if we don't like that, we can go to the next one. Doesn't really matter, but I just want to show you how you load in samples. And we can rename it. So just let's just call it SNR, hit enter, it saves that. In the top right corner, there's a little button with three dots. And in here, there's a few more options load kit, save kit, use one audio output per pad. That automatically routes your outputs from each of the pads to its own track in Reaper. Pretty awesome. You can edit the MIDI map where. Here we can just, um, what do we do? Drag. Oh, it's probably MIDI learn. Yeah, okay. So it's just MIDI learn. That's really easy. And then just go back here and uh, click edit MIDI map again to, to save that. And there's some mapping presets as well. So it's all pretty straightforward. Um, probably the most straightforward plugin that I've used in a long time. Uh, samplers can be pretty complex. Um, I know Geist, I'm years into owning that thing and I'm still discovering something new or getting confused by something with it almost every day that I use it. But this is super straightforward, um, really easy to use. It's free, installed in a couple seconds, and um, you know, it's really taking up no CPU. There's no latency. There's absolutely nothing that I can find to complain about this. Really loving it. And I hope you will too. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, there's a link in the description to where you can download this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.